Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, and welcome to a new series, a new game, Voltaire the Vegan Vampire, and welcome to spooky season, of course, it is October 1st, so why not start October with a new series and a Halloween-like game? So if you don't know, Voltaire the Vegan Vampire is a, a co-op game where you're a vampire and you're focusing on being a... a gardener <laughs> you like plants and veggies and you don't want to eat people and the likes and at night you get attacked by dracula as he tries to destroy your crops for he does not like the vegans now we are going to hop right in and start a new game and we're going to do story mode and go through the tutorial and i will also say we are playing on uh this version here it's in early access about twenty dollars for the game but they are coming out in october with the full release uh version 1.0 so we're gonna start here and we're gonna see how it goes in october Alrighty, so i will say i've already done a good portion of the tutorial but we need to go through the tutorial again in order to play the storyline. So we're going to go through and we're going to be reading these letters, much like a story is done. A carrier crow, what's that on its beak? Looks like a letter from Uncle Frank and Stein. Dear Voltaire, the crows tell us you made it to the graveyard without getting eaten by pigs. That's most fortunate, but your dearest Uncle Frank would like to remind you that he conveniently left the keys to the house under the rug. And your dearest Uncle Stein would like to remind you that your smelliest Uncle Frank, that the rug is inside the house, so you need to break in anyways. Regardless of alleged mistakes I may have made, I think it's important that you learn how to survive by yourself given your recent appetite changes. You should start by making sure you can grow your own food. So I'm writing down a couple of instructions on how to get started. This crow is carrying a tiny pouch of crowberries to help you get through the day, so remember to eat whenever you get the munchies. Now, get to it, kiddo, and good luck. XOXO, Uncles Frank and Stein. All right, so yeah, this is how the game works. We need to collect water and shake, shake little seeds. So we can also do little teleportation things, which is super fun. Crowberries are f considered free. Um, I can harvest them like that, but you'll notice scullions here, for example, they require a little shake. We'll also hop into the Vegipedia. Oh, it won't let me do it too early in the tutorial. But there are different benefits to each crop. There are certain ways to plant them as well. Come here, little shit. There's certain ways to plant them as well, so you maximize their benefits. And I hear a little water boy running around. Where are you, little shit? There he is. Got him. My favorite thing, though, to grow is none of what we've harvested so far. <laughs> let me let me harvest this. Good shit. Okay. Favorite thing to grow is you're harvested, right? Yeah, okay. Is where where is it? I do not see it. Ah, yes, this plant. This plant right here is my favorite. It is easy, it is peasy, it is how it's done. Give me the crab apple. And there we go. Okay, so. Good. Shake this. And there we go. Okay, great. So I'm going to stop because we only have, you'll see in the top, we only have so much energy. And interestingly enough, if we grow crops, we will have, we'll have multiple foods to eat. And it's really good to have multiple food sources because the more you eat one crop the more it reduces its benefits for you so you have to kind of swap in between two crops so that's what crowberries are good for 
so let's get in here. Come here, you little shit. You can also build a well, so I don't need to run around and grab those things because they're little shits and I hate them. But, alas, it is fine. Also, if you, you run through these things, sometimes they'll drop wood. Or, or uh, there you go, wood. Or if you run through the, the stone things, they'll drop stone. See, like that, boom, perfect. And we need that to make a well. So, if I start early this time, running through these things, like right at the start of the tutorial, I'll have an easier time later. Because let me tell you, the playthrough I, I did by myself briefly, I played about an hour and a half of the game. Oh my goodness, I got beat. The game is not easy, okay? Do not be fooled by its pretty little graphics and its cute ideas. It is terribly violent and difficult. So let's see what Frank and Stein have to say. Another letter already I must be doing really well. Dear Voltaire, what the flock took you so long? Never mind, your Uncle Frank. He's still pissed about the rug thing. You're doing great in the gallery department. Now let's make sure you can actually grow those veggies. This time I'll be the one writing the instructions. You'll find them to be much more useful than the last ones. Like before, the crows will watch you. Chop chop. XOXO, Uncle Frank's and Stein, but mostly Frank. So we're going to clean the garden, plant a seed, and water the seed. But I am not going to do that one because it's a little chaos. We're going to do this one because there's more availability here. So see again, everything requires hunger to do. But that also includes, oh, no, not scullions. Um, can I open the Vegipedia to show you? I cannot. So we're going to plant an eggling. You may faint. See, I'm getting close. I have not gotten to that stage yet. But I can go into my inventory here and eat some of the plant that I have. I can't eat these, but I can eat this. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to eat a couple of those, eat a scullion, and eat a couple more of those. So you'll notice it went from two to one. So not great for our first day. However, all we need to do is plant a couple of these, and this will solve some issues for me for sure so egglings they do about i think it's 15 to 17 and they will drop two and i think if they're side by side that they will drop double i can't remember so we'll we'll see all done i wonder what's next dear voltaire great job taking care of those seeds all they need now is enough time to mature most veggies need a day or two to grow but that still means you need to make it through tonight to harvest the fruits of your labor should we tell them about them did you really have to write that down, Frank? You should probably conjure traps around those crops, kiddo. You know, just in case. XOXO, Uncle Frank's, and Stein's. So we can place traps down, and enemies will trigger them when they walk through. Um, I'm going to place some traps over here, and just one over here, because I'm pretty confident I can defend the land from there. So let's see what Frankenstein have to say as well. That was easy enough. Good thing I was paying attention during those summer camp conjuring classes. Dear Voltaire, it looks like you're all set. It would have been awkward to go through all that work only to lose your crops. Now, lad. Speaking of awkward, we've been sitting on top of something this whole time and I'm beginning to feel a tingle in my leg. What is that? For witch's sake, Frank. Look, kiddo, this crow is carrying a manual that someone ordered from their favorite telemarketing channel. Hey! I got a great deal on that. It came with a lifeline subs lifetime subscription to Reaper's Digest. Please consult the manual while we prepare a new package. XOXO, Uncle Frankenstein. So, there is a Vegipedia. This is what I've been trying to open up. And you'll see when I click on the veggies, what they do. So, um, scullions, for example. Okay, I don't like the pinging. Let me just stand away from that for a second. Stop it. Quiet, you. All right, good. Vegipedia. So you see uh, scullions, the, when they're planted near each other, it's more HP, and they will give. They have three health, they mature in one day, they need one water, and they drop two. These drop two, but if they're planted near each other, you get double drops, ready in one day, one water. Uh, crowberries are just crowberries. This one is 
two days, it'll drop double, and it doesn't, um, oh, hunger, 15. Oh, it provides a speed buff, I didn't actually know that. But this one, hunger, 14, um, melee attacks, double speed if you plant it near a, f a fellow fangman. And, oh, they don't, they don't, um, I'm learning new stuff as we go. So this doesn't cause any enemies to spawn. But if you plant these, for example, more enemies will spawn. I'm just looking through. I feel like this would be good, but the, the enemy is harder. Kind of, I think, as you go along up, the enemies get more and more difficult. We've got the baddies and the bosses. Now, I've already killed one boss in my attempt earlier, so hopefully we can do it again. This crow is also carrying something. I hope it's not another manual. My cape's out of pockets. Dear Voltaire, completely unrelated to what we were sitting on, your favorite uncle actually found the keys to the house. Yes, how fortunate. The good news is you may now access the interior of the house. The bad news is that your uncles can no longer access their bathroom, since that key is apparently under your rug. Uh, yes, it's all a terrible mystery. I suspect someone cast a powerful key swapping spell sometime after I definitely left the correct keys there. Look, bud, it's been a long day, but those crops still need time to grow. There's a coffin with clean sheets inside the house. You should probably rest before moonrise. And sleep tight. You may need all your strength. XOXO. Uncle's Frankenstein. So we're going to go sleep in the coffin to end the day. And I believe start combat. Yep. So off we go. And there are instructions. So we can see the enemies appearing and we've got the enemies here. 15. There's the health for our home. Okay, so we are thankfully demolishing these enemies. The first time I did this, it did not go super well. Did I get them all? There we go. So every few nights, your XP... Well, I mean, you gain XP as you play, and you can level up and see see what sort of things we, we've got. So I'm going to increase my melee attack size and um, the ability size, actually, maybe I'll do the ability, never mind, we'll do that because it should be, oh wow, that is quite the increase in size. That will be great. So now I can harvest these crops and I'm going to get four each, which is phenomenal. We're also going to check the mail and talk to the witch lady. Those critters were coming for my crops. Uncle Franks and Stein have something explaining to do. Dear Voltaire, we're glad to hear you're mostly alive. And personally, I'm glad the house is still standing. Wouldn't want to lose me down payment. I know you're not too fond of violence, but you must protect your crops in order to survive in such necklace environments. Plus, you're not really killing them, kiddo. Those critters are souls. Souls are cursed under your father's command, and defeating them is the only way to return them to their real bodies. Just think of it as a thwacking of kindness. That said, each type of crop will be especially alluring to a different type of critter. And the more veggies you plant, the more of those fellows you'll have to deal with. Now go ahead and take a bite of your homegrown veggies and keep growing some. Keep growing them until you do. XOXO for Uncle Frankenstein. So let's chat with Yilga. Gather round, gather round, and who might you be? That's enough about yourself. Now hear the tale of Yoga's one-stop broom shop. Purveyor of whimsical goods, collector of magical trinkets, connoisseur of, well, mostly fancy French words like connoisseur. Don't be shy and take a look at my stock. Something just might tip your fancy. So, we have soul planks and stuff. I don't really think I need anything from her. She doesn't serve much purpose to me right now, but we are going to just start eating some of these 14 two of these again back to two of these that's kind of the strategy as i go two and we're stopping there all right hello mail 
That was really yummy. There's a weird aftertaste, but I'm sure that is fine. Dear Voltaire, we're happy to hear you're eating your veggies. Well done, lad. Come to think of it, they're likely a, they, they're likely to taste a bit funky, even musty perhaps. It is a graveyard, after all. At least we know the soil is brimful of nutrients. Anyways, you may have noticed that the house is equipped with a magical wardrobe, a tip-top alchemy table, and a precious relic aquarium. I'm sure you know how wardrobes work, but this one's got a more oomph than usual. It will allow you to change the way you look, but also modify your powers in rather unique ways. Ooh, I got the alchemy table. That's where you'll be converting materials into new forms, crafting powerful defensive seeds, or taste testing run snacks. That last one's clearly optional. Finally, the reliquarium holds the... Yeah, we'll, we'll just say I got it right. Holds mystical trinkets that may unlock immense potential across all aspects of your journey. Don't forget about my cauldrons. They came with a bunch of fish bean soup recipes, but my concoctions weren't exactly edible. Right, they did, however, become so acidic that they're currently able to decompose anything you throw into them. That means you can dispose of any unwanted or extra seeds you may be carrying around in exchange for the experience of wondering how your Uncle Frank was able to mess up a soup that bad. Go ahead and drop something into the cauldrons, kiddo. It's pretty fun. What about Frankenstein? So, yeah, there are some cauldrons in here, in the house, and they let us you know, throw things in them and get things from it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to toss the coffin berries because I don't really think I'm going to grow any. So there we go. We got 10 XP. It's not ultimately a lot of experience, but it it is experience nonetheless. So holy fangs, was that supposed to be soup? Dear Voltaire, your Uncle Frank is busy trying to open our bathroom drawer with a paper clip and some chewing gum. So far, he's only managed to chew the gum, but I'll keep you informed of his progress. You may have noticed that you're missing something to activate your trinkets in your reliquarium or fuel your alchemical recipes. We call them soul stones, magical crystals capable of entrapping one's fondest hopes and dreams of eternity. They are the source of your family's ancient powers, allowing them to feed on the joy of innocent beings in order to maintain their vampiric immortality. These magical seals can be broken, but only by those with an inclination for the dark arts. That's where you come in, buddy. Spending a crystal's energy on alchemical recipes and ancient relics would not only reap the rewards, but it would also return those souls to their original owners. You would, in a way, become stronger through compassion. Meanwhile, Uncle Frank managed to lose the gum. I can see it stuck to the back of his hair, so he's resorted to chewing the paperclip. That gives me the opportunity to send you a few soul stones without him noticing. Now go ahead and try and break their seals by spending their energy anywhere you see fit. So, we can grow them to get more, which is, you know, honestly, kind of not a terrible idea. So, I'm actually going to clean all these fields, and I think I might plant one. Can you... You're going to... Ah, it's going to let me plant one. Oh. It will not let me plant one. Why not? Do I need to actually do it in here? So, yeah, if I go into the wardrobe... So if I go into the wardrobe here, I can... There's some fancy things, but there are classes and stuff. So, this would be super cool. And then there are some recipes that can be done as well which allow for things to grow and then over here we can spend some points on on a uh, sorry send some points on these different experience items so i'm just gonna see what i'd like all right so i've spent five we've got um 10 percent experience we've got hunger restored uh, more for the crow berries. We've got soul stones dropped increased, extra inventory slots, and global plant health. So those are the things that I chose because I, I just felt like they were easy, easy, easily good. So, dear nephew, the crows tell me you look stronger already. Regarding your uncle's progress with the bathroom door, I believe he is currently choking on the paperclip. 
And just like the paperclip blocking your uncle's windpipe, soul stones may be used many different ways. For example, casting soul barriers around your crops would be a great way to ensure they survive through the night. You may activate and replenish soul barriers by powering the crystals in the middle of your fields with enough soul stones. Meanwhile, Frank's face is a new shade of purple. He doesn't seem to mind that his crow is carrying the last of his soul stones, so why don't you give those barriers a go? So the barriers will protect the crops. So I'm actually thinking, because it's only going to cost me one soul stone, um, we're going to just increase the barriers and increase my movement speed, because he gave me a few extra. And that should solve some issues here. So let's do this as well. I got soul stone seeds. Activate the barrier. Water this. And you know, ooh, no, I don't want to plant those. We're going to plant more egglings. Because they are the easiest thing for me to plant. We're going to put water on them, water on them, and water on them. Okay, good. Did I not do this? I did the thing. Right? What did that say? What secret? Oh, okay. That was just about that stuff. Okay. So we would now need to go to sleep. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to run around collecting a few more things. Eating some stuff. And just making sure that we are in a good position for the other activities that we're going to have to do. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, so we've just woken up, and I had gone around and done a couple of things, but we're going to protect our crops. You can see I planted a couple more things. Oh, what the fuck? I forgot about them. They're scary, and I don't like them. Leave my crops alone, sir. Oh, my heavens! There are so many of them. They're little fiends. I hate them. Okay, we were quite successful. Oh my gosh. Look at me go. Ugh. Oh. Okay, so Mr. S Mr. Frankenstein here. Oh my, I really hope that Uncle Frank is okay. Dear nephew, I'm afraid I have really bad news. Unfortunately, your Uncle Frank is okay. But don't worry, it's not all that bad. While choking on the paperclip, he eventually panicked and slammed his head against the bathroom door. And while that didn't unlock it at all, it was still very fun to watch. He's a bit confused right now, but he's already insisting on writing something, so I'm sure he's totally fine. Dear Voltino, it is I, your... Brother Frank, don't trust the frogs. Water does not curve. It levels. See? That sounds just like something your Uncle Frank would say. Nothing to worry about. All right, kiddo, you have probably figured out how alchemy works by now, but it's important to mention that not all recipes require soul stones to complete. In fact, why don't you practice some material conversion recipes while I run a few volts through your uncle's brain? Pretty sure he needs a factory reset. All right, let's see what else I can do. I'm going to increase my get another trap charge because I feel like that would be helpful and we're also just going to harvest the crops so four this is, should be four as well this one I'm thinking is four and is this one four oh, okay so it did not count so let's just water this real quick and see how many do I get from this Quite a few soul stones. Okay, so I have a couple ideas as to what we can do here. I'm going to eat some of those. There, okay, so we're, we're trying to be efficient here. We gotta plant some crops. And is this still, this is still, the barrier's still up too, so that's great. So here's, here's what we're gonna do. We're going to continue to plant egglings because they are the most ideal thing for me to plant right now. I believe I have enough water that I can do it, but I'm going to need to eat some more grub. 
So you'll see it's we're we're doing well. We're getting more crops down while at the same time managing to keep our head above the water, we'll say. So let's see we need to craft a plank and craft a brick. So, let's see. We have both of the things we need for that, because I've been running around doing doing some searching. Now, what about the seeds? Hmm. So we don't have any soul stone seeds, which is unfortunate. Let's see what they have to say. Bada bing, bada boom. I should take up carpentry after this. Dear nephew, have you seen my soul stones? I woke up with a headache and empty pockets. I suspect the Fang Fairy has mugged me again. In case you couldn't tell, your Uncle Frank is feeling much better now. Oh yeah, strong as an ox, like Baba used to say. I recall him saying you looked like an ox, so that's close enough. But back to business. Eating a lot of the same food will eventually become less nutritious, so you urgently need to dig up new plots if you plan on expanding your diet. Or you can always explore other feeding avenues. Enough of that, Frank. They've made up their mind about neck biting. You can't keep suggesting. No, 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 no. Not all I meant. I meant treasure hunting and harvesting berries and feeding Cthulhu in exchange for its gifts. Cthulhu, the Lord of Undertides, treasure hunting. Those are actually great ideas. Are you sure you don't have a concussion? No, oh, shut up. Are we still writing this out for our nephew? Well, right. We're sending you instructions about these new activities. Please say hello to Cthulhu for us, Uncle Frank and Stein. So Cthulhu will reward us with gifts, and there are cracks to dig and things to acquire. So what I'm going to do first is make sure I have enough sauce in my bones. As well, oh fuck, I probably didn't need to eat that. As well, I'm going to just quickly see we can build wells. But I want, I, it's, can I, I need additional, I need additional materials. So we're going to run around quickly, collect all of the stuff that we need to collect. And of course, then we will revisit once Cthulhu is on the agenda. All right, so I ran around collecting all of the crowberries. Now it is time to feed Cthulhu. And we just need to get those top tier clicks in and click oh soul scribe nice can i feed him again i think i can feed him back to back if i run around beautiful 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 oh there's only so many times i can feed him anyways there are also of course things to dig up so we got quite a bit of uh crowberries with that and some soul dust. So I'm wondering how many of those I'll need to dig up to get a chest. And I, I've forgotten what all the chest gives. I believe it just gives additional items. Now, I don't need those things. They're not terrible options, don't get me wrong. But I don't necessarily need them. Let's see. Let's dig up more things in the ground. Gives us wood, soul dust, crab apples, kind of just a, a good mix of things. So let's see here. Anything else? What, what secrets will you provide? Okay. And we'll feed Cthulhu as well. Why not? Crowberry. Does he appear elsewhere in the lake? Yes, he does. Come on, my guy. Give me some beautiful snacks all right um i think is that it that's he'll oh no he'll spawn a third time that's not bad a stack of stone stone i find is the harder thing to get so let's dig out this as well beautiful oh no i can just keep going okay see i didn't know this to be honest that was fine all right Let's see about digging out maybe one to two more things and then continuing onwards. 
Maybe collect a little bit of little bit of droplings. Make sure I'm kind of stocked up on some water. And come here, you little shit. There we go. Perfect. Beautiful stone. Fantastic. All right. Give me give me this. All right. Perfect. 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 Now I see that they want to talk to me. What do you want? Those were pretty fun. What else could Uncle Franks and Stein have in store? Dealer Voltaire. We were overjoyed to learn that Cthulhu has decided not to eat you. You're doing great at all this, buddy. Looks like you're a natural. At this point, you're likely aware that collecting water droplings can be quite the chore. It's hard enough to collect water when it's not trying to run away from you. Oh, I know this one. You need to fold those fancy sleeves and get to work on building a water well. That way, you'll be able to get fresh water every day with a lot less cursing involved. Precisely. Water wells will naturally refill every morning, so they're a great goal to keep in mind while collecting materials from other tasks. Digging up treasures, cleaning fields, and even feeding Cthulhu may yield the materials you'll need. And don't forget, just plain old forging. There's always a chance to find something useful when you bump into trees and rocks. Go ahead and get building, kiddo. Chop chop. I'll go Franks and Steins. So, we, we need to build a well. And to be honest, I think I might be able to slam that out right now. Because I have enough for planks. I have enough for that. Okay, let's... How many... Uh, okay. So let's go over here and build out a well. Oh. Oh, fuck me. Did I pass out? That was really bad. Ooh, I was not... I didn't know it was going to need 25 health. Hello. Here we go. I can already picture Uncle Frank's pun. It's all well and good now, kiddo. Well, well, well. Someone clearly inherited my building skills. Nobody lost any limbs, so clearly not. That was one time. One time. Plus, we're much better off without that third leg. We heard a lot less of those crude jokes these days. True enough. Regardless, congratulations on completing your construction project, lad. The crows tell us it looks impressive. Now, much like your veggies need time to grow, wells need time to collect water. Give it a day, check back in on it when you can. I'm sure it'll be fine. He's been doing pretty well, after all. No, really. Well done, kiddo. Hee hee. We have to go now. Farewell. Hee 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 hee. XOXO, go Frankenstein. So, we will get water from the well now, which is super, super exciting. I am going to place down more protection. I think I've got the option of four now. So that is lovely. We're going to put down one probably right there. And let me see. I might dig this up. I might take the chance here. Water this. Boom. Done. All right, we got quite a lot of crops growing. Egglings are only so good. We might want to switch up soon. I'm also just going to quickly check this out, see if I want to do something here. Um, okay, we will move forward with the day after I eat something to stop that shit from beeping. All right, good. So it is nighttime. Quest updated. Um, we're, we're fighting demons, evils, and weasels. That's my, that's my statement. So, I can see them from fairly far off, but the problem is, if I run away like that, it leaves things too risky, too weak and frail. I get concerned. We have nine enemies left. Oh my gosh. Get away from my shit. The sun is rising. Look at us go. Look at the beautiful, beautiful land that we have. Perfect. Egglings. See, egglings are the way to go. You just plant them all together. Oh my god. 
goodness, the beauty. The beauty of it all. And we'll just water that. Ugh. Oh, wonderful. So we're going to consume some of those, of course. It's just kind of back and forth. Wonderful. Wonderful. That's how it's done. That's how it's done. Just wondering... Eh. Yeah, mediocre at, at crop differences. Let's see here. What can you offer me, dearest well? Four water. Not terrible. I wish it was more, but I will accept four. Let's see what my uncles have to say about that. Freshly collected water all uh, from a well. Check. Dear nephew, first you grew veggies where people lay to rest. Now you're collecting those graveyard juices directly from the ground. Our own father would be proud. Ah yes, Papa Victor was the best. Terribly uncreative when he named us. Clearly intoxicated when he created Frank, but otherwise a genius. It must run in the family. Speaking of running in family, you need to speed things up, buddy. We just got word from the ravens at your family's castle. They say your father may be summoning the Grim Lords. I never understood what they're so grim about, but they all have such awesome powers. Some of them go swoosh, ka-ching, ah -oo. Others go all flap, flap, bzz. Okay. Wah, wah, kerplam. And then there's the one that, oh, pretty colors. Anyways, you look at them in the eyes and they blink twice. They're a reptilian. Forgive me, nephew. I had to resort to violence to snap Frank out of it. He's a bit of a fanatic when it comes to the Grim Lords. But I assure you there's nothing to be a fan of. And, hey, look at that. The bathroom door was just one headbutt away from opening, so your uncle ended up solving that problem after all. This is serious, lad. If one of the Grimlords finds your location, you may need to escape in a hurry. So you should really stock up on food now. Teehee. Good luck. Oh. Wow, I got to uh, unlock boss rush and farming mode, and I completed the tutorial. So look at us go. We're going to do this. I learned it was the... Uh, the way to go. So it sounds like we have a few days to kind of protect our crops, a few days to sort ourselves out. Let's see here. So let's plant more egglings. And I'm wondering if I were to plant more crops. So there, this is how. <laughs> Oops, I shouldn't have done that. Alright, now water. I don't have enough water. Of course I don't. Why would I? We're gonna run around, do the do the rounds, and then we'll we'll see what there is to be done. Alrighty, so we've done the rounds. I've just put down a little bit of water. Now, we have game plan here. I have a plan. We're going to be doing some work over here. I know, the safest place for sure. I'm going to activate a barrier. I don't love using the soul gems for that, but... It is kind of the way of the world right now, and we're going to be planting these poppy, poppy corn seeds. So these apparently will, if I go into the Vegapedia here and show you, they will spawn a new enemy, but they'll be ready in one day, and if I plant them together, they'll do double drops, which is fantastic. But they will restore 12 hunger and will summon a defensive corny pop pet. So I'm particularly keen on figuring out what that means. Now, we are also going to... Oh, God, don't plant a seed. Actually, was that the one that I wanted to plant? Let me take a quick look. No, I want to plant this one. It will spawn broodlings, which is exciting. Do I have it? It's a brood vine, so we're going to plant that. And we are going to water it as well. Oh, my God goodness that has quite the range and honestly let me see I'm considering planting something else maybe another eggling or oh, I don't have another okay yeah screw it 
let's just plant another eggling. Because we're all sort of there. Might as well plant something here. All right. That's, that's pretty well all I can do today. We're going to set up a trap there. There. Probably here and here. So they'll be kind of protected from that side, that side. And we'll probably fight down below in the middle. So off to bed we go. And we will see what sort of evilness there is to handle. Let's just start with that. Oh god. There are 40 enemies, so we really have an increase in numbers from my understanding. What in the fuck is that? Okay, I might lose crops tonight. Oh my god. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm gonna lose crops. Might be wondering why I'm defending the lower crops. They are more important to me, emotionally. Oh, they killed them all. Oh, brutal. Absolutely brutal. They killed every single one of those. What do you have to say to me? Hey, you kiddo, if you happen to come across a book called Fifty Shades of Hay around the house, please don't read it. It's not about agriculture. But hey, the following tasks are. So... Let's harvest all of this. Oh, that was not great for me. It was almost, well, I mean, it was actually quite literally a waste of resources to do that. Um, damn, it destroyed, oh my gosh, it really ripped me apart there, wow. Done already. Slow down, kiddo. I don't know what task you wanted me to do. Plant a seed, feed Cthulhu. Okay, let's I'll do it in that order, and maybe it'll it'll do me do me right, you know. Um, let's plant scullions. Are they gonna? What'll that do? Where's scullions? Ah, oh, brutal. Let me plant some scullion bushes and see if that is something that is of interest to me. Wow, that was like a terrible time. Holy shit. We'll plant the scullions up here, though, because I'm still planning on using that other area for just the egglings. Because stocking up on egglings is not a terrible idea. Let's just plant a bunch of scullions. I'm just going to be a fucking maniac today. I'm going to do the exact same thing. Except I don't know if I'm going to have shield. What are you telling me to do? Oh. Okay. Alright. Well... Let's go harvest the water from the well and feed Cthulhu, get that done. And just collect a couple other things over here. And I don't think they'll give us any more quests today, but hey, you know, you, 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 you never know. All right. Okay, good, I got popcorn scenes back. I can't believe I lost all of the poppycorns. Oh, so brutal. I probably need to plant them near my main area that I'd be defending. Thankfully, I managed to save all of my main crops, which is important. Because if I lost all of those, that would have been a waste of a full day. That, yeah, that's new. Dark fine. Interesting. All right, let's collect some more droplings. And, of course, feeding Cthulhu another time for fun. Oh. Stone is actually not bad. That's totally reasonable. Okay. Let's see what they have to give me. Hello. You must... Yeah, okay. Great. 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 All right. So, oh, and 
I leveled up. Um, let's see. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do a bat. I like it. We like the bats. Let's water these crops. Scullions, a bunch of scullions. And, of course, we're going to do a bunch of egglings. Um, but I don't know if I have... Yeah, I don't have enough of them. So, this might take me a minute to go and retrieve all of them. Let me see what can be done. All right, I went and collected the rest of them. I just want to check something in the Vigipedia here. We unlocked this new critter here. Oh. Oh, interesting. Could be cool to have more defensive plants. Would be fascinating, for instance, if I put one here. Let me, let me test out a, a little theory here. If I place one of these down here, just kind of let him do his, do his thing, I'm just wondering if it's going to be effective at defending the land, because maybe I just need to make use of more of them. We're also just going to quickly check the alchemy table here, so we can purchase these things. Oh, interesting. Oh, heals. That's... Huh. Interesting. Anyway... We've been getting some soul scrap. I I can't seem to see how much soul scrap, but apparently I can make a few of these. Holy shit, how, how much of this shit do I have? Oh, quite a bit. Okay, back at it I go. Oh fuck, I didn't mean to do that. Well, I bought one of the most useless things. At least it was only four. So, let's see, one, two, Okay, so I'm 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 negative from that interaction. That is unfortunate. All right, but let us go to bed and see what the night brings us today. It brings us fuck. I forgot to turn those on and put down my traps. Okay, so let's do this. Jumping through. Stay away from my shit. How many crops did I lose? Oh! Only one! Also, apparently, between the last time I played and this time, I have released 500 souls. So, let's take a quick look at this letter and then we're probably wrapping it up because we were quite successful today. The crows tell us your crops are looking great. One of them also commented on their taste, so you might be missing a veggie or two. Here are new tasks to make up for that. Alright, so... We can do all of those, well, those two, and uh, that's that's pretty good. So I'm going to leave this episode here. I'm doing much better than when I played the tutorial myself. <laughs> if you folks are enjoying this series, please don't forget to leave a like, and of course, subscribe if you're new. And, you know, it is an indie game. It is a, a fairly unpopular game, but just let me know if you want me to keep playing these kind of hidden games and I'm more than happy to try them out. So, of course, thank you all for watching and joining me on this new game. And, as always, thank you for stopping by. Happy you did, and I'll see you next time.